Welcome back, Bobby Clark and Louis Grant are founding directors of Irish Jam Media Group. On stage, chatted with the two after their successful 23rd anniversary celebration at Roy Wilkins Park. Yeah! After eight long years, Sizzler is back in New York, and um, I think it was probably the last park show he did. Was was, was here for for Eric Jamboree. Very blessed. Um, we're the New York arm of Jamaican entertainment. So as on stages in Jamaica, we think they were same in New York. And I think that the artists and the community of artists from the Caribbean realizes that the Big Apple to get the right exposure is Irish Jam, Irish Jam Radio, Irish Jam Media, Irish Jam Events mm -hmm. is what you need to, to make your career move. And we're, we're proud to be able to push real good music. Like Sizzla said today, you know, support those who support you. Yeah. And we here at Irish Jam, we are 100% Jamaican, we're 100% Caribbean, and we, we take pride in promoting what we promote. So. I want to also say to corporate Jamaica and corporate Trinidad, there is more money here than there is in the Caribbean. So if you want to invest in a different resource to get another income stream, here's where, it's, here's where we do it. We have three million Jamaicans living in New York, mm -hmm. <laughs> almost same as Jamaica, and Trinidadians, Asians, and we can maximize income, US dollars, for you, the Caribbean audience, in the Caribbean here. So when we put on these shows and we do the radio, and we do TV and we do other things, it's to enhance the Caribbean culture. And it's very important that people understand that we're not doing it for personal gain, although that's great sometimes, but it's more of building our culture and building awareness of why we're here. So we've found our calling. Our calling is our brand and our people and getting our people up the right way. So when it comes to making them money, and if you have a business here, we empower you. We're not going to buy a McDonald's, we can buy an oxtail, or a patty, or a curry goat, uh, flying fish, or whatever. What we have to do to make sure that our Caribbean nations here make money. And that's why we're here to, to do. You're not just speaking Jamaican, you're speaking no. Caribbean, 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 Caribbean. Oh, yes. Because right. um, traditionally, Labor Day weekend is, is the a very strong Caribbean celebrated weekend and in all its splendor. Heritage, the culture is, is, on, is on show mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, which climaxes tomorrow in Eastern Parkway at the, the West Indian Carnival Parade. And um, it's just a phenomenal time uh, that we all come together and, and do the best we can and, and share our very rich culture with our newfound friends and, and, and the mainstream, mm -hmm. if you will, here in the United States. So I remember when, when Bobby and I were in college, we felt so left out sometimes, so we actually started radio because you'd have the Columbus, the Italians, and the, the, the Irish, St. Patrick's, and all that. And that's so, and we got into radio at, at, on campus, and that's how we actually started because we were doing Black History Month in February, and then we turned it into a more Caribbean type feel. And you know, that was the genesis of, of, of what you see today. I really want to, to impress upon the artist community in Jamaica. Um, since I was gone for eight years, for whatever reason, and I think it's important that they, his message is now positive, and it's now pushing education and childcare and family and, and great things. I need, I need other artists to take note mm -hmm. and, and to, to, to push positivity, because it sells. We just had about 15,000 people in, in a park because of positivity. So I, I like the, the community there in Jamaica to, to see that success comes from doing positive music, doing cultural music, doing music that is uplifting to, to the people. You can do dance, I mean, we love dance, <laughs> we're a big part of that, and, and, but you can do it positively. And I think Sizzla is a testament to that. Right? <laughs> I 
probably without compromising his, his, his beliefs, you know, and um, he, he, well, he hasn't had a, hasn't been here for a while, visa issues, but thanks to, in part, to Harry Jam, his music has always had visa. <laughs> Lowell Hawthorne is easily Jamaica's biggest food success story in the United States. The St. Andrew Bourne restaurateur, who was recently featured in ABC's hit show Undercover Boss, has been a sponsor and a supporter of Irish Jam Media for all its life. I'm here with Irish Jam. What a great organization. I'm proud to have been partnered with them for the last 23 years. Okay, so you've always been with them? Yes, 23 years. Oh, wow. So it's just been a great partnership. So, sir, for some of you who might be watching us and don't know your name, and you, who may not recognize you right away, could you just say who you are? Uh, my name is Lowell Arthur. I'm the president and CEO of Golden Cross Caribbean Bakery and Grill. A pride and joy business chain, a chain, food chain, for Jamaica, for all Jamaica. Uh, everyone utilizes Golden Cross for their home away from home. Yes. We provide authentic meals, over 120 stores, you know, over 20,000 supermarkets, and just keeping the Jamaican flag flying high. Uh, how many supermarkets? Over 20,000 supermarkets oh, wow. throughout the United States. That's nationwide? Nationwide, yes. And your, 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 your food, this, the restaurant, yeah, we have 120 restaurants. We're in nine states, and certainly patties are in the schools, the penal system. So we're just doing a fabulous job taking Caribbean cuisine mainstream. Patty is the leading product here. Patties is number one, followed with jerk chicken, and of course our oxtail. Oxtail is bad. Oxtail is doing extremely well, man. Okay. So how, where are you looking to take it? Where do you want to take it? We want to go to Canada. We're looking at many other states. We're going to be building another 50 stores over the next few years. A lot of stores coming to the Boston market, Florida, Atlanta is doing phenomenal, and we're just going to keep growing. In starting this, what was your dream then? My dream then was to have enough stores to feed all my siblings and their, uh, their spouses and significant others. I did not envision to have 120 stores, but certainly I've executed the vision capitalize on the opportunity and seize the moment. <laughs> that, you, that you did, you <laughs> fine style ideas. Yes, I appreciate it and just, just, just you know, just a, an amazing um, journey. It has not been easy, but certainly with, with determination and the drive and the discipline and the tenacity, that no matter what happens, we have risen to the challenges and keep pushing the organization forward. Um, being Jamaican, does that make it easier or tougher to do that here in the U.S.? Being an immigrant, it's never easy. Yes. You know, had it not been for my determination, I don't think I'd be standing here. And certainly, one of the things that I have embodied is just giving back to the community, providing scholarship for our youth, and yes. just trying to transform lives as much as I can. Thank you so much, sir. What an inspiring story it is. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, stay with us. When we come back right here on stage, Shaggy tells why he feels this is Dan Soul's biggest moment. Gullibop answers questions about being stuck in New York. And still to come, Sizzler on a triumphant return to the US after eight years and what he means by no gun phenomenon. All coming up, we'll be back. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Well, you know, there's so much more where that came from. And all you have to do is to click, subscribe, and be on stage, always. Start come and make pictures. Big up down back in America. Go through the whole of the classic, classic the country. You see it on Instagram, you see same about the place. Get to the point, God is the Rasta man and I 